What's up, guys? Welcome to That Creative Life. It's me, James Mathis. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most important things if you shoot log or if you shoot with weird lighting conditions. So let's roll that intro and let's get started. Okay, so have you ever had issues where you try to set your white balance or your white balance changed throughout the video or something like that? Well, the way that I get around this is A, I will set a custom white balance to 5600 Kelvin. It's a good middle ground, good place to get started. It's technically daylight colors. And so I like to set it at 5600 Kelvin and then I will use one of these. This is a gray card, it also has a white side. And what you can do is if you're in Premiere Pro or Funnel Cut or DaVinci Resolve, any of those will have it. You select the eyedropper tool for your white balance click on this and it will auto white balance based off of what your lights are. And so if you have your white balance set to like 5600 Kelvin, it's not gonna change throughout the video. So then your white balance is dead on. And I love having that ability because I have fought for so long trying to get my white balance to look right because it would change throughout the video, whether I moved forward or light changed or something. Using something like this or even like a, a color checker, anything like that is going to save you so much time in the long run to really get your footage looking the way you want. For me, shooting in C-Log on this camera, the Canon R6, allows me the ability to really hone in my colors, especially with that log footage, because it's so flat. And so then I have the ability to go on and put on those creative LUTs and really get a unique look for whatever I'm going for. And so today's video obviously looks like this. This is a LUT that I have picked up recently. It's fantastic. Um, I'll try to link some of my favorites down below. Most of the ones I use are Peter McKinnon's, Matty Hopoya's, or there's this company called The LUT Bay. Fantastic company, definitely check them out. They're my favorite out of those three. But find what works for you. This is what works for me. Having the ability to set my white balance that way and have it to be perfect every single time, especially at my job. Because at my job, we work in a giant warehouse and so the light in there is not necessarily ideal. I will have studio lights to try to help balance it out, but you really can only have so much control because it's just so bright in there anyways. And so anything you can use to help will save you time in the long run, especially in editing, because I had this issue recently where I was trying to edit uh, a collection shot, is what we call it, of pillows. And when I was panning across the pillows, you could literally watch the color tint go from green to magenta, and then later in the scene, you could watch it go from cool tone to warm tone. And it's because I forgot to set my white balance and I forgot to use one of these. So, this will save your life. If you have any questions about it, drop, leave them down in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it means the world to me. And if you found this video helpful, drop me a like. It means a lot. I love you guys. Don't forget to live that creative life. I will see you next time. Bye.